Well, well, look where we are today. All right, here we are. To think, just one year ago, I was here speculating over what they might do in the future, and then one year later, we get a new coaster. Finally, 14 years of waiting, and we're back at Worlds of Fun with a brand new one. Today is gonna be a fun one. New credit, a, a part classic reborn, the Zambezi Zinger. All right, we are in. Let's go find Zambezi Zinger. And your Fairlane's still here. That's a good ride. Looks like Viking Voyager has got a different sign. I wonder how long it's been since they've been using that on red photo. Or, I think Viking Voyager has a new sign. I don't, I don't remember it looking like that. Anyway, Prowler in the distance, beautiful as always. This is gonna be a good day. All right, it's my first ever running to the bulls. Off to Zambezi Zinger, here we go. Credit number 85, let's go. So first ride on Zambezi Zinger. Wow, okay. The stats say that that coaster goes 45 miles per hour. I think after one ride, I honestly wouldn't even think it's that fast. It actually feels a little bit faster. Since it's so small and the elements are a little bit sharper, like it kind of creates that it kind of creates that illusion a little bit. Like it, this thing has a lot of strong laterals. Um, back towards the back row, off the first drop, get some floater. Not like a ton of floater, but there is floater on this thing. So, yeah, this is a great ride. That was a lot of fun. Prowler, Zinger. Prowler, Zinger. Prowler, Zinger. Prowler, Zinger. They're right next to each other. What inspired you to build a second GCI right next door to the original? Money. So, Worlds of Fun opened at 11 and ended up waiting about 30 minutes for my ride on Zambezi Zinger, but I don't, it's not, it's not, not necessarily because of poor ops, it's actually more due to the fact that there's actually something else kind of big going on today. So at the beginning of the day, I saw some people with wristbands um, that were coming around. They're having some event for uh, people with, like, the, with the Make-A-Wish Foundation, so there's a lot of people that are coming in through the exits and need assistance getting on the rides. So, Got to be prepared for that. Some rides might be a little bit inconsistent here early on. And also, it's uh, it's going to get up to like 92 degrees, so chances are it's going to, it's going to, I'm sure people will start to flock over to the water park as the state progresses here. Boomerang is not open, but uh, they have different colored trains. Last year, they were, uh, for the longest time, the Boomerang's train is pink. Now it's like a real dark green, but unfortunately, it seems to still have the, uh, it still has those incredibly hard, uncomfortable, old Vacoma 
restraints on them. Why don't they just, uh, you know, give it the new age Vekoma trains that have the best restraints that are a little bit more comfy, you know? So, I'm going to take a walk around the park, see what the lines look like elsewhere, and then uh, as the day progresses, we'll see if we can get back to Zambezi Singer. But so far, first impression, really good ride. I liked it. So after taking a walk uh, halfway around the park, seeing Boomerang, Mamba, and Timberwolf all currently closed at the moment, it uh, felt nice to get all the way over here to see Patriot was basically a station wait, or actually a walk-on. So, yeah. Similar, kind of a repeat of last summer, where the heat, I'm sure, is probably playing games on all the rides here, so that's probably why a lot of things are closed. But on a day like today, it makes me glad that I bought a season cup at uh, Kings Island. He's like knowing that I was going to Cedar Point the next day and then also hitting this place, you know, you can, you know, these cups are pricey, but if you're going to, if you know that you're going to be going to multiple parks or hitting the same park like your home park multiple times during the season, good to get yourself one of these. You need you need to stay hydrated on such a hot day like this. So here as I mentioned earlier, you can see Boomerang's trains instead of the old pink color, they're now kind of this dark kind of forest green. Too bad they don't, too bad that color doesn't really match this. And honestly, I think they should have just repainted this. Why they didn't just give it the new age Vekoma trains that have best restraints that would have been a lot more comfortable is beyond me. I was today years old when I realized this. Take a look at the Detonator's logo. Does it look familiar? Hmm. So who wore it better? Detonator or um, Mean Streak? Noticing a few changes over here at the Timberwolf too. The old Orient Express chicken exit is now been removed and as we see it coming up you'll notice the trains have been repainted from red to orange. I remember back in high school, I came here for like an end of the year uh, band trip and so many of my friends did not want to ride the Timberwolf because they all kept complaining how rough it was. I mean, ever since the retracking that GCI did a few years back, it's a lot, bear a lot more bearable and a lot more enjoyable and it still, it still offers some decent airtime in a few places. It's not a bad coaster. I mean, is it the best in the park? Definitely no, but it's still a decent coaster. So, now all I have to do is wait around and see if uh, Mamba and Prowler open. For now though, I'm contemplating. I think I might take off and go uh, get some lunch and then return to the park in a little while, see if anything's uh, changed. Because Sammy's Dzingler's line is still not moving all that quickly. And I just don't feel like riding, uh, I don't feel like riding um, the Momorang again. I mean, Boomerang is not as rough as I remember it being, but uh, I could really use a little air conditioning. It is getting, it is so incredibly hot out here today. I was about to go get lunch, but then I saw that uh, Prowler finally opened. So, walked up and uh, actually got a walk on front row ride. Prowler still got it. I mean, it's, it's definitely gotten rough, but it's still, excuse me, it still offers a good ride. And, I don't know, Mystic Timbers took what Prowler did and just made it a lot better. And uh, let's see, how did my picture turn out? <laughs> Nailed it. Anyway, yeah, Mystic Timbers basically just took the out and back layouts of Prowler and added a lot more like small ejector moments. Yeah, Mystic Timbers took everything that Prowler did and just made it a little bit better. Tightened it up, gave it more airtime, made it a little bit smoother. So, yeah. So, where do I rank Prowler? It's better than a Renegade, but definitely nowhere near as good as, Mix as Mystic Timbers. In fact, I think after the Kings Island Cedar Point trip, I think Prowler 
I don't think Prowl is still in my top 20. No, Ed. Might still be top 30 for the moment. Still a great ride. But anyway, you know, ever since, ever since uh, earlier when I went up to Mamba Station, they had been cycling it, testing it. They let us go up, and as soon as we got up there, the problem that they'd been having with it all morning uh, happened again. So we had to go right back down. So, and, it, and since then, I don't think I've seen Mamba cycle anything. And that was oh, over an hour ago. So I get the feeling, I don't know, I get the feeling Mamba may not even open at all today. I hope that ends up not being the case because I'd like at least one ride on it. But at least everything else has opened or has been open up to this point now. I mean, it, took, it was a little slow starting this morning, but yeah, everything else, just about everything else, all the major coasters have opened since. So, for now, I think it's time to step out of the park for a little while. Let's go get some lunch. This. The food options here inside Worlds of Fun are not, like, the most excellent. And there's a few places here in Kansas City that I don't get to enjoy back home. Kansas City has all these, all these major chains that we don't have, like, in the Omaha, Nebraska, or Iowa area. Like... Nebraska doesn't have Waffle House, Nebraska doesn't have Zaxby's Chicken, Nebraska doesn't have Rally's Checkers. Um, what else don't we have? We don't have Jack in the Box, not that we're missing out on that one. I, I, didn't, I didn't think they were that great. We don't have White Castle. Um, but Kansas City does have one thing now, one awesome thing now that uh, allows me to not have to go quite as far to get it. Um, thanks to Patrick Mahomes of the Kansas City Chiefs. KC now has Whataburger. You know, before that, uh, you probably would have had to go to, I believe, Texas to get that. <laughs> and I think they're pretty good, so I think that's where I'm going to go right now. Let's go get us a Whataburger, and then we'll come back just a little bit. So there's one little negative of leaving the park in the middle of the day, especially on a day like this. You come outside back to your car, and you open up the door, and it's just like, oh my goodness, it's like a furnace in there. Okay, uh, quick, okay, quick, keys in, on, blast the AC, let it air out. Oh my gosh, it's so bad in there. It's so bad in there. I just hope Bob Ross didn't get heat struck back here. I'm so glad you could finally join me. It was getting rather toasty in there. Bob, you have hands. You could have gotten out of the car any time you wanted. Well, I did step out earlier to paint that happy little tree right over there. But then I decided to paint another tree. Give that tree a friend. Because everybody deserves a friend, right? This is true, Bob. It's very true. Thank you, Pat Mahomes, for all of this. Look at how massive this burger is. And also... The shake I got. This is a Dr. Pepper shake and it is really, really good. Like seriously, look at how massive this thing is. Like you need like two hands to eat this thing. And also they have spicy ketchup, which is like really, really good here. Mm. Kinda tastes like a Sonic burger actually. Really, really good. Alright, jumping ahead a little bit. Now that my uh, stomach is filled up and my car is fueled up, we are back for another round. And good news as I was coming in, I saw Mamba with people on it. Okay, Mamba, where has that been all these years? Holy moly. Last year, the trims were barely hitting at all, and we were getting airtime. I was coming back this time just thinking to myself, I hope that wasn't a fluke. Sure enough, even when they're still running two trains, I heard the trims, but I did not see the trims, and I was getting launched off my seat the whole way back. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, Worlds of Fun, if you can keep Mamba that way, I'd be much appreciated. And Valley Fair, if you could do the same thing to Wild Thing, I would appreciate that even more. <laughs> Alright guys, I think that's going to do it for Worlds of Fun. I just really wanted to get back to my car and turn the air conditioning on. Considering it's uh, 93 degrees out right now, oh my goodness, I am out of it right now. My feet are killing me, I've been chugging water like, like it's nothing, oh my gosh. Um, so, a few hot takes today. So, I was taking a good look at things as I was walking around today, and there's been a lot of tiny little improvements here and there. Like, some of the buildings have been repainted, some areas have been seeing some slight re-theming. Uh, it looks really, really nice. And, and then also, despite the fact that this morning, you know, there was a specific event going on that was kind of make kind of limiting some of the rides and their operations they still did pretty decent with them today two train ops on basically everything once everything got opened yeah like yeah as i mentioned earlier i mean not basically nothing was open this morning except for uh, only like a few things but gradually one by one everything opened uh went to lunch mamba finally opened and after that everything was just non-stop things were going really smooth really quick uh yeah things were looking all right here uh and and then as for as for Zambezi Zinger, uh, very solid addition. I didn't expect to like it that much. I mean, family coaster that feels faster than it actually is. I'll give a little bit more in depth. I'll get a little bit more in depth on it later on. I mean, at this moment in time, though, I mean, what are my over my overall thoughts on it, and where do I rank it among the other coasters in this park? You'll have to subscribe and find out. I intend on putting out a Zambezi Zinger analysis video uh, in the future here after I do this vlog and everything. So if you want to see that, subscribe to Ejector Airtime so you don't miss out on that. And also make sure you're liking these videos. That really helps us against the YouTube algorithm. So so thank you, my, thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll, see you in the, we'll see you in a minute.